John Holditch, leader of Peterborough City Council, has described the proposal as environmental vandalism. Our MP Shalish Vara, who knows the area well, says it's the wrong development in the wrong place. Here's what else he had to say when he came to visit us recently. So although the City Council um, have talked about uh, proposing homes, two, th two and a half thousand homes out here, uh, HCA appear to want at least double that. Uh, yes, I mean, the reality is we are talking of uh, up to 5,000 homes and possibly even more. And that sort of uh, figure is simply just unacceptable. I mean, just look around here. And this is beautiful countryside. And it has been like this for centuries. And we'd like to keep it that way. Local plans recognise that this is a beautiful countryside area. And what I would say to the people at HCA and the local planners is that they really do need to come here, have a look at the area here and say do they really want to destroy it because once it's gone then it's gone forever and we have so much to preserve here and I very much hope that the entire local community and I know the vast majority of the local community oppose this development, I hope that they will be active in making their voice heard and heard very loudly. Natural England have strongly objected to this proposal. They believe the 2,500 homes should be located in a much more sustainable environment. And the new MP for Peterborough, Fiona Onasanya, in her maiden speech in Parliament, described the areas of countryside around Peterborough as our very own Gardens of Eden. Here's Mark, who's lived here all his life and knows the nature and landscape of the area probably better than anyone else. Nobody's opposed to small small development. We need the houses. I mean, I, I myself, I live in a house that was um, church commission land, and it was was um, sold to on the pro, on the proviso that it was for first time village buyers, and I'm still in it 34 years later. We do need things like that. We do need some small developments. We, we you know, the, you, you won't find a person in the village. I don't think that's against that. You know, we want to keep the village communities not just here, but you've got Upton, Sutton, and all the villages west of Peterborough along this Neen Valley corridor. You want to keep the village communities. We don't want to be drawn into an urban sprawl. Mark's right. Over the last 10 years, Castor and Aylesworth has had a 10% growth in homes and our neighbourhood plans, which are just about to be finalised, also envisage a similar amount over the coming period. Oh, it, there's no doubt this is a major asset for Peterborough. You know, you only have to come down here, and, and particularly this time of year in the summer, you'll see picnickers, cyclists, walkers. There's, a, there's everybody who wants to enjoy the countryside coming. You get people from Ferry Meadows coming, walking up. Obviously the fishermen. It's a major, major asset, not only from the leisure side, but we've also had some very um, major films. I mean, The Dirty Dozen, the next mission filmed in 85, was filmed just over my shoulder here, some scenes there. Secret Army, the Neen Valley Railway's done several uh, James Bond films. This area is such a major asset to Peterborough. Um, and it, it's, it's just beyond belief and criminal in my mind that they want to destroy it. Why would you want to destroy your major asset? You only have to look elsewhere in Peterborough to see the problems and, and, and what's been lost. You cannot destroy this area. It's such a beautiful area of Peterborough, one of the last beautiful areas left. And if you destroy this, you've, you've destroyed Peterborough. Thank you for watching the film by Protect Rural Peterborough, PRP, uh, a campaign team that was set up after a public meeting several months ago, about 300 people, very concerned about City Council's proposal for 2,500 houses in the middle of open countryside. And actually, it's not even as bad as that. The Homes and Communities Agency, stewards of the land, believe that it should be 5,000 houses, right in the middle of open countryside. The actual plans themselves seem to contradict many of the City Council's own local planning policies. And in fact, they have a vision in their draft local plan, which says, we envisage a characterful network of villages in an attractive rural landscape. We simply don't understand how putting what is effectively a 2,500 township in the middle of open countryside, in the middle of Carrotsful villages, contributes to that vision. We ask city councillors, the future of Peterborough's countryside rests on your decision. Please weigh out the choices and consider what is to be gained or lost forever. <laughs>